in this video we're going to make the tour of heroes app which is the first sort of application uh, to make in angular and it will help familiarize ourselves with uh, the new angular sorts of concepts so essentially what we're building is uh, we've got this menu here and you can click on dashboard and that will take you to this screen here for the particular person that you're looking at uh, and you can go ahead and you can change their name in here and you can also click on the hero section and that takes you to a list of the heroes and clicking on one of the names of the list will take you back to the uh, editing sort of view and here's it in action uh, you can see when you change the name it changes and updates it in real time and this uh, Mr. Miss Fantastic gets uh, updated on the other version, other view. So let's go ahead and make that. And for all Angular stuff, the Angular.io uh, website's a really great uh, sort of starting point. Um, so the text editor I'm using is Visual Studio Code. And if you haven't already seen uh, downloading the Angular CLI and downloading the Node uh, JS. Please make sure you do those first steps in the previous videos. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just follow along with this and see what we can make. So we need to create a new project firstly. So we can go ng new and that's from the Angular CLI. Uh, most things start with ng, similar to if you've done npm installs. Um, and I've already created this project folder and I'm already in it in Tour of Heroes. So I need to add this uh, dash dash directory uh, dot slash to indicate that I want to create this uh, new Angular application in this uh, directory. So we can click no and we can just do basic CSS for now and then we'll go ahead and install that and the first thing you'll see is a bunch of files have been created uh, we won't worry about most of these files for now we'll sort of figure those out later on at a later stage uh, but now we just want to sort of focus on the fundamentals of the two of heroes application so what it's installing now is the node modules. They're around, uh, I think they're about 200 megabytes. Um, and with the new Angular 9, with the Ivy compiler, I think you know, it's a lot quicker to uh, sort of uh, grab, you know, we have smaller file sizes and stuff like that uh, when we build our projects and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's a new thing I'm keeping my eyes out for. But yeah, so basically we've got all these files here. Uh, we'll mainly be looking in the source folder. And let's just go ahead and follow along. Um, so in this instance, we don't have to CD into the new directory because we've already made it within the folder. But we can do an ngn serve dash dash open and what that will do is it will uh, sort of show us our project so far and it will open it up in a new window so that will just take a little bit to compile especially for the first time but uh, with the new Ivy compiler I think it runs faster, I'm not sure um, Oh, okay, so they've updated the Angular uh, sort of initial page. It used to be a big A, but now it looks a bit cleaner with this uh, sort of thing, and it gives you some documentation and learn Angular and all that sort of stuff, new component, all that sort of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and we'll just work our way through the creating the new project. So yeah, the idea of these uh, Angular is it's all based on like modules and components, uh, 
and you need at least one module and that's the uh, in this source in app we have the app module and we can have multiple components so for example a navigation bar might be a component or something like that um, and those components are used within this uh, module sort of context so uh, we won't we'll have a look at the components first and this is sort of uh, what we may be more familiar with so it looks like they've nested the CSS into the HTML with this style tag here uh, yeah okay so there's lots of styling already there and then it looks like the uh, so resources resources and then you know the rest of the regular HTML so that's there um, so let's go ahead and let's change the title to tour of heroes okay so that's in the TypeScript file and you'll notice that it made a spec file don't worry about that that's just for uh, testing we'll so angular dash tour dash of dash heroes we we want to name that just tour of heroes I suppose I suppose it has the name uh, from the folder that we've already created so let's rename that tour of heroes okay and let's go ahead and we'll just clear everything from this HTML file and we'll just go ahead and we'll use this h1 tag with that title so we'll save that and there we go this is just a basic application two of heroes so this uh, curly curly brackets is string uh, interpolation um, and it sort of binds the TypeScript or the variable name into the uh, template or the HTML file. So we can add some styling and we can do this in the styles CSS file. Go ahead and we can get that going there like that. And we'll just check that we're uh, importing it. So in the app component, we're using the HTML, which is the title, and we're using the style URLs because we can have multiple CSS files for a separate comma separation, and that is linking to this uh, predefined styles. We've changed the variable here of two of the heroes, and so we should be getting the defaults. And you can see that it's changed the color and the font and all that sort of stuff. So that's the first video and that covers the uh, introductory section in the fundamentals where, and the creation of the project. In the next video we'll go through the, the hero editor.